we got going on here. People are actually just packing up, but it didn't look too much better than this. Game preserve. Swapping. Yeah, game preserve over there. Still has some units going. Did a little bit more. Sold some today. Most of this home for sure. Joel and Corey has here. Mutant League football. Got that going on. He's live streaming. Uh, I should be live streaming, but right now I'm just recording. Oh. And we got Tyler's got some gems here. There's a pinball thing. It would have been even more ironic if I had like the Sonic Gems collection. That would have been. That would have been really cool. That would have been better. Literal gems. That's right. <laughs> oh man. Too many games, so little money. Yeah. Well, there was. There was a crazy lot going on over there. We'll see. Think about going inside playing some games. Yeah. I think it's not dying Retro out. Arcade. That'll be good. That'll be good. I'm not sure how much more time I have before the wife starts calling the cops on me. Where's where's Billy? Yep. This is all the junk that I can't get rid of. Some of it I just have to duplicates. Somebody bought a stop sign. Or maybe they just took it. That would be funny if he just took that stop sign off of the parking lot somewhere and is trying to trade that here. That would be awesome. Final thoughts? I got nothing. Hey, look at that. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. I'm going to hang this in the wall. Yeah, that looks amazing. I like it. I like the pink with the yellow and the blue. Those are cool colors. Those are like those are like retro Palooza colors almost. That's cool. Where did you acquire that? I got that at the Arcade Expo, that marquee at the Arcade Expo um, just this past year. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I'll sell it for fifteen. That's pretty much what I bought it for. I'm like imagining my wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually um, had those, uh, you know, cheap uh, ten dollar lights behind it, oh, um, nice. and it shined through it pretty good. Oh yeah, that would look cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like. I haven't like fully committed to, to to decorating yet, so I don't know. Okay. Well, I could, I could bundle Golden Axe with Shining in the Darkness for Night Trap. Sega CD32X, oh, if you'd like. Okay. That sounds like, that sounds like cool. okay. Let me see your shiny. Take a look. It's got a manual. Yeah, it's good. All right, man, you got a deal. Awesome. You made a live I deal. I can't pass up Sega stuff, man. That's right. Sega That's two Sega cool. things. Yeah. And math, you just trap. won. Awesome. Night Trap. Thank you, Tyler. You're welcome. Go to youtube.com, iRetroGamer. That's his page. Just made a pretty good deal. 
I still I have the original Night Trap for yeah. Sega CD. No box though or anything, but this will be better. It's the 32X version. Looks like it'll look a little nicer. Yes. And there's that guy right there. He's going to tell me to unplug my controller when I suck. Which is inevitable, because I don't think there's any possible way to beat the game. Well, if, if you remember everything and know it's... Yeah, look up the pattern, you should be able to... I've looked it up and I still die. It's really? like, yeah, I, I keep... I can make it to the second disc as long as I have the walkthrough. Um, but, yeah, like, and then right after that I pretty much die. I need to play it more. Right now I'm actually playing this on the PSP. I have a Sega CD emulator for the PSP. And that's where I'm playing Night Trap right now. But it's best to play it on the Sega CD 32X. That's the way to do it. Good stuff. All right. This is Billy signing off from the Game Preserve swap meet uh, April 15th, maybe? Question? I don't know.